everyone, this is V today for you too. and today we have a new review for you from the House of Playing Cards, and uh, it is the Fort Knock deck. I feel like we should use some patriotic American music, do we have that? We don't have a budget for that? Oh well, let's just look at the deck. Alright, so here we have the way too expensive Fort Knock from House of Playing Cards, I'm so excited about this. Um, it's apparently sold out, I think. It might still be available, I really don't know. Last I checked, it was up to $34 each, which is just absolutely outrageous. In fact, the starting price, which was like 15 bucks, was outrageous. I ended up paying more, unfortunately, because I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> and uh, they had this weird thing where the price goes up every two weeks. So by now, who knows what it costs, if it's still available. Just way too much. Kind of a stupid idea, and I don't know how that would work. Because you'd think as the price goes up, people are going to be less inclined to buy it or pay for it. So, seems like shooting yourself in the foot, in my opinion. Um, apparently, it was uncovered by Sergeant Major Knock after a war, supposedly World War I, and locked away. And now it's been discovered, released 100 years after it was locked away, November 18, 1918. Yeah. <laughs> And features, of course, metallic inks, gold foil tuck case that looks like a gold bar. It says Fort Knock 9999. And limited edition playing cards at the bottom. All right. Uh, so, yeah, the, the bottom says limited edition playing cards. Not so how limited. Just a gold foil tuck case. Looks like a gold bar. How exciting. Nothing on the sides or the top. Nothing up my sleeve. I don't even have a sleeve. It's just sword sleeve. <laughs> just saying. Um, just some ad copy on the bottom. In the back, more the same. Nothing. No seal. Nothing on the flaps. Then we get to the cards. You do get a duplicate Queen of Hearts, as usual. The back design is just a gold metallic ink. Because he ran out of colors to print, so now it's everything in metallic ink, apparently. You get a blank card. <laughs> um, the Jokers, they're just standard, just a star, Joker in the corner. Nothing too exciting. And the Ace of Spades, standard, premium quality. Lots of playing cards. Everything else, completely standard USB C. That it is. It's a fairly straightforward stock and finish from the USB C. Ericus and finish. Pretty much just a bicycle stock. Nice and snappy. Handles alright. I'm gonna say for this one. I have to say 5 out of 10. It's just, it's okay. It's not worth the price. And it's not worth, there's no value in it going up all the time. I just don't understand that. I don't get it. I don't know what kind of customers he has that he thinks are going to want to pay more every week for the same thing. It's just, it's a ripoff in my opinion. It's a ripoff. So that is that. Comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think. I don't know if they're still available on his website. Probably knowing him, they are available or they will be available again in the future. That is that. Comment and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Apologize about the interruption. I will see you next time. More thanks for watching.